Hello everyone, I am Dr. Kalpana Suresh, Medical Director and Chief Ophthalmic Surgeon from Kalpana Eye Care Hospital, Chennai. A 28-year-old lady who is an IT professional came with redness, watering, irritation in both her eyes of three days duration. Initially, she had it in her right eye, later she got spread over her left eye too. On testing, she was found to have madrasai. Her vision was absolutely normal. Madrasai is an infection of the conjunctiva, which is a transparent sheet covering the white portion of the eye. It's caused by a virus called adenovirus and was first reported in Madras. From then on, all conjunctivitis are addressed to as Madrasai, be it bacterial or viral. The infection can be due to bacteria or virus. Can you differentiate between them? Yes, you can. If bacteria, there will be pus like discharge from the eyes, the lids will be stuck together while waking up in the morning. You will see a lot of crust in and around the eyes, over the skin. In viral, the secretions will be watery, no pus will be there. Patient may have mild fever along with sore throat. Lymph nodes in front of the ears will be enlarged and painful. You can feel them like here. How to manage? It's better to consult an eye doctor rather than apply self-medication. The doctor will check your vision, nature and severity of the infection, its spread and then decide on appropriate treatment. All madrasai are not the same to give a blanket treatment or online treatment. It depends upon whether it's bacterial or viral, vision is affected or not, central portion of the eye that is the cornea is involved or not and so many other factors. Let's see what are the do's and don'ts if in case if you develop a madrasai. Try to isolate yourself because it's very very contagious in the initial phases. Wash your hands frequently. Use wet wipes to clean the eye and then dispose it off immediately. If you use handkerchief or cloth, it will carry the infection and infect everyone who touches them. Wear dark goggles. It helps in three ways. One, you will be aware that you have eye infection and will not touch the eye unnecessarily. Two, others also will know that you are having an eye problem and won't come near you. Three, it helps to reduce photosensitivity of the eye. Do not rub the affected eye. This will aid quick spreading of the infection from the white portion to the black portion of the eye. If that happens then it would take weeks or months to clear the infection. Do not touch the other normal eye to prevent the spread of infection. Use clean water to wash the eye. After washing the face or after taking bath, use tissue wipes to clean the infected eye and then dispose it off. Never use a bath towel to clean the eye with infection. It can spread to others as you will put them in the washing machine for washing. So never instill mother's milk into the eye. It's very very harmful. I put a separate video on that. You can check that link in the description box. Also no use applying tilak that is commonly called as namakati for this. If there is too much of lid swelling, you can keep plenty of ice packs to over the lids to reduce the swelling. This will help in better penetration of the eye drops. You can also keep all these eye medicines in a box and store it in the refrigerator and use. It would give a soothing relief to the eye. But see to that you don't, do not contaminate the other stored material in the refrigerator. Please note that madrasai spreads only by contact through infected hands, hand key, towels, pillow cover, bed sheet and bed spreads. It will not spread just by seeing the infected eye. Try to keep away from children because as I said it's highly contagious. The person who is going to apply the eye drops or ointment should wash their hands thoroughly before and after applying the drops or ointment. Otherwise they will acquire the infection too. One drop is enough per dose. The tip of the eye drop bottle should not touch the eye. If more than one person in the family is affected, buy separate set of medications. Do not share as all the infection need not be the same. It can be a different strain. Once the treatment is over, dispose all the medicines safely. Do not store them and use them in the future as the infection may spread to whoever uses those eye drops. The shelf life of any eye drops once the seal is broken is only 30 days. Expiry date holds good only for sealed eye drops. If you are a contact lens wearer, avoid using lenses at this time. Instead, switch over to spectacles. Once the infection is cleared, dispose of old pair of contact lenses and use a fresh pair. Change or clean the contact lens case. Use new solution. If you were using computer keyboards, one mouse during the infection, 
don't forget to clean them later most important if you have high blood sugars it has to be controlled otherwise the infection will not respond to any of the medicines but remember anyone can get the infection even outside madras the patient which i mentioned above was treated with eye drops and ointment the infection responded very well to treatment she was advised all the preventive measures as i mentioned above hope this video answers all your queries about madrasai thank you have a wonderful day